While they say anyone can learn to be an artist, Christy Poole Adler certainly didn't require any teaching. She was pretty much born with the creative gene. It's always been an interest. I always loved drawing when I was little. As soon as I went to university, I found painting was my passion. The 25-year-old recently graduated with her Bachelor of Fine Arts degree at the University of Edmonton, where she learned everything from the basics of color mixing and canvas painting. Right now, I'm just starting off with a background, just trying to create uh, something interesting that I can work with. <laughs> to the limitless world of oil painting, this artist's favorite. Just the way you can kind of blend with it. I love like using a rag and like wiping it out. It kind of gives it the ghostly card to it. Since her time at university, this Whistlerite's paintings have taken on a more serious tone. It did start from a family member of mine who um, has schizophrenia. An instructor I had, he really encouraged me to kind of work things out through art. Sesame Street's Grover, just one of the many unsuspecting cartoon characters that have become central themes in Christie's pieces in an aim to open up discussions on mental illness. My work, it's about the relationship between mental illness and homelessness because so many people on the street are suffering from undiagnosed illness and my overall goal is to kind of break down the negative stigmas surrounding that. Art lovers could check out Christy and 40 other Sea to Sky artists' work in Art Whistler's latest exhibit that showcases just some of the pieces that have been created in its pop-up studio. We've had the pop-up studio for approximately one year and we thought that we would put on Creative Boom, the art exhibit, as the one-year anniversary to celebrate that. On display here are 15 different artists' work. Uh, everything from Christy Poole, who has more of a conceptual type of artwork, to the abstract and to more realistic paintings as well. This is one of the pieces I did in the pop-up. It's called True Patriot Love. I have my man walking away in his hospital gown, so that's kind of representing the mental illness. Christopher Robin is said to have schizophrenia and the animals are his delusions. This one is called The Homeless Shelters Are Filled With Alcoholics and Drug Addicts. In this piece, I have kind of a broken up, what you can kind of see might be like a nice modern home, and it is crushing Big Bird. As someone used to working alone, spending the last year working beside similar and completely opposite creative minds allowed Christy to reach a whole new level with her paintings. Once I get to a certain spot, you kind of feel stuck and so you need fresh eyes, someone else's opinion or what they think you should do next. So yeah, I had a lot of, a lot of inspiration from them. Arts Whistler is currently looking for a new location for its pop-up studio, which means for now Christie's studio will be here in its building or in her basement. Not quite as fun, but as any artist knows, with the right colors and motivation, a masterpiece can be created just about anywhere. And don't expect this social activist to put down the brush anytime soon. With schizophrenia, it's definitely a complicated one and they're still trying to figure out the best ways to deal with it. Talking about it more, I think, will kind of break down the stigmas that are not necessarily correct or that people are afraid of.